So, hey guys, Chauso here, and welcome to my all colors speedrun against Garb Challenge Whitebeard. This will be a single segment speedrun, or quotation mark speedrun. Uh, it's basically just I'm doing all of the Whitebeard challenges in a row without pausing. And yeah, using uh, different teams for all of them, of course, different colors. And all of these are new teams I haven't made before. Well, this one is very similar to an old team I made. I replaced uh, Ambush Garp with uh, uh, Rumble X Drake. And yeah, for this team you need to have a very high investment bullet friend captain or it is not going to work. It's pretty tight. Uh, the good thing with X-Drake is that he makes next stage much easier, it's a lot harder with the Garp variant. I also want to note that uh, the fellow team builder Bibro made a very good speedrun team for Strength Vipeard. The only bad part is that you need the treasure map re recruit Yogoro. So yeah, if you have it, check it out. I'll probably link it below in the description along with the other variant of this team. But yeah, we're already at this stage, and yeah, we're going to use Bullet here. When you have a matching orb, you don't need to attack a lot before Bullet, but if Bullet does not have a matching orb, you should hit with all your units and hit last with Bullet. And yeah, this stage is a bit tight with this version of this team. We're only using Chopper here, who removes all debuffs. He has uh, Wii One Akino support for orb manip and attack boost. So yeah, you want to hit last with bullet here, and yeah, this is why you need a very strong bullet, because otherwise he will barely miss the kill here. So yeah, moving on here. Yeah, we're going fast. This is five speedrun teams. And yeah, for this stage we're using Neko and NL. Uh, Neko was useful an earlier stage for Ryza support to remove special bind. And here he helps add some extra damage and orb control, so he just helps make the run more consistent. And he just finished the bullet to 1 KO. And yeah, already final stage. So yeah, to get Snakeman ready again, he has the 6th anniversary Nami support. If you don't have her, you can also use the support roulette. But yeah, for this stage we just use Snake Man Special and Super Type and we burst. As always, it lasts with Bullet. Uh, A shield go down from the first, first four hits. And then Snake Man and Bullet can finish off Whitebeard. So yeah, there we go. First team done. So yeah, four left. This video is going to be a bit over 18 minutes. So it's not a bad time for doing five... Go, uh, white bear guard challenges because I'm not pausing for downtime because now I'm just going to switch team now we're doing next team as you can guess it's going to be Kaido uh, it's a bit of a different take on the Kaido team it can probably be a bit slower but this is super consistent but yeah I'm actually using Nami Robin on two teams and they are good for the same reason on both that we can store the guaranteed matching orbs from the first stage and save it for for the for a later stage which is very useful so yeah we're going to store the orbs and then just let kaido do his work kaido will kill basically all stages the only exception is stage six since you're applied normal attack only there and yeah obviously getting applied normal attack only means that we can't just rely on kaido for every stage uh, which Loses a bit of time compared to other dex runs with Kaido, but yeah, we made it work. Uh, most of the stages can be killed with just Kaido's end of turn damage. See, what I'm doing for these stages is that I'm trying to get a matching orb on all units. Remember that for the striker units, Rebecca swap changes strength orbs, so you don't have to like attack with Kaido there with the strength orb because he'll get the matching orb here. But at this stage we swap with Rebecca, we target the strength unit, we just start the chain, then hit with Rebecca, and finish with Corazon. So yeah, that's just a bit of ship to ensure the Kaido kill here. 
And yeah, this stage, also killed by Kaido, we're just going to use Weaver special, get rid of the defensive effects, and that's all we're going to do. Then we just one tap with Corazon again. Easy enough. And yeah, we've saved Corazon for next stage. Uh, important to note that both Corazon and Robin are not boosted by Kaido, so we're going to hit with them first. Because we can't be swap with Beck at this stage, so we'll have to do it the old fashioned way and build up the chain. So yeah, we want to take out Mark for this stage, and yeah, there's a good chance you can get some ship on Wista as well. And yeah, we're going to finish next stage, but now we're going to prep for the final stage. And we're going to do that by swapping Nami Robin. This will give both uh, Nami and the Vivi a Dex Orb. And we're going to keep that for final stage. And we kill with the other four units. Uh, Kaido has the Legend Hawking support. This gives matching orbs to both Kaido and Adjacent. This means we are 100% guaranteed to get five matching orbs. And this means that Kid Special will do 2.5 million damage to all enemies. So together with Kaido's HP cut. Yeah, we're not going to need to attack this stage. We can just one tap with Kaido and let him finish the stage. So yeah, I, I thought it was a pretty cool solution to this. I tried a bit of different stuff, but yeah, I felt like this was the best like both fast and consistent so yeah we're moving on to quick uh quick is still a struggle to do fast we're lacking the really good quick captains like on jp now there are a lot of amazing ones like for gc obviously uh we to kaido is nice and probably the new uh anniversary luffy as well and like of course versus Akainu too, but uh, he's a bit slow since you need to take damage, apply the burn. There's a lot of uh, stuff happening, but he can probably be fast too. But yeah, we're doing a double chance crew team. And yeah, uh, this took a bit of time to make consistent, but I figured it out in the end. But yeah, this is easily the slowest of the five teams. And there's going to be quite a bit of switching as well. But yeah, for this stage, we swap the Captain Shanks crew, use Kaku and Law specials, and this will let us get a full board of matching orbs. And we'll also be able to kill in just 3 hits. And all units we attack with will be guaranteed the matching orb next stage, so it works out nicely. Because yeah, we're swapping the other Shanks crew now. And we're using Weavy Special. Uh, Weavy Special helps in two ways, both reducing CD, this gets Kaku ready. Uh, and also gives us a chain lock for next stage, which will increase our damage a lot. Uh, that's a limited rare recruit, Weavy. She's pretty good actually, I beat um, hard content with her, like Hawkins Forest. So yeah, she's definitely the best solo Weavy in the game at the moment, I'd say. Yeah, we swap all duo units here. Uh, we use the first four attacks to take this guy out. Then while L Luffy attacks, we swap to the strength unit and take him out. Uh, that's a pretty easy swap because Luffy's animation is super long. And yeah, we're going to take out this one now. We swap all duo units here again. Uh, important to note here is that Kaku has a sailor that makes him do more damage against Dex. So... Yeah, it looks a bit weird, but Kaku just doesn't care about uh, uh, color affinity there. And yeah, we're using Captain Shang's crew special here, Bobbin, for Orbanip. Swapping Luffy Law, so we just need to start the chain with not Kaku, we don't want to touch Kaku. And yeah, now we just kill with the Shang's crew after that, easy. And yeah, as you see, I haven't said it yet, but Kaku needs to be Limit Break Expanded for this to work. Uh, it's a very good Limit Break Expansion too, so I definitely consider it. But yeah, Kaku is ready again, so yeah, 
Shang's crew special stops the chain lock and Kako removes everything else. And yeah, we are swap friend Captain Shang's crew. We prepare Luffy Luffy for last stage by swapping them. And yeah, the only thing to keep in mind here is that uh, the Sai Shanks should attack Wisdom. There we go. Uh, this team, uh, like it barely pulls through with being pretty fast. Uh, this took a lot of testing and tinkering. Easily the team I spent the most time with. Uh, Ace isn't really needed, but he's nice for extra damage. And yeah, for most teams I'm not putting any support. This is because all my units are very high in Wested. So I want to try and let others uh, match that investment by putting stat support. And it works well for everything except for the strength team, since the strength team has quite a few support. <laughs> but yeah, we're moving on to Sai. And as you might guess, it has Roger as Cap. Uh, this one has the most... Uh, exclusive unit as support. It uses the support rare recruit Iceberg for Frankie. Uh, he's not required, but if you don't have Iceberg support, I'd run another color, uh, another unit to remove death up and damage reduction, something like Summer Robin, and just stall one extra stage somewhere. That will be my solution. But yeah, if you have the Frankie with Icebrook support, you don't need to stall anything. So yeah, we swapped Shang's crew for this first stage. And this is just to make the swaps line up, since we're swapping Shang's crew every stage in the beginning. So yeah, swap Shang's crew here. Use Christmas Nami. This is Limit Break Expanded Christmas Nami. I definitely suggest doing it for this team. It's one of the best treasure map limit break expansions anyway. And yeah, as you see when I'm hitting, I'm hitting around Shang's crew. This guarantees that the other units have matching orbs. But yeah, this is the only thing that doesn't have easier perfects either. And this is because Nami isn't ready again without the uh, uh, liberal hint with its seed reduction. But yeah, obviously, if you swap out Frankie for something else and stall a turn, you can just swap out Liberal him too. It's not like the damage is very important. But yeah, we use Roger here. If you think about it, we have four stages left. So if we use Roger super type here, we have matching orbs next stage. And if we use the next Roger super type stage six, we have matching orbs stage six and seven. So it works out, just works out well like that, that way. Uh, this is the more, most annoying stage since uh, the damage isn't super type, but missing a perfect here uh, or getting it like a miss can end the run basically. See, so, yeah, yeah, something to keep in mind if you try to run this. But yeah, we're going to be doing a lot this stage. Uh, we're going to use Liberal Hint to get Nami ready. We're going to use Nami special, we're going to use Law special, we're going to use Roger super type, and we're going to use Roger special. So yeah, lots going on. We're basically just preparing for final stage here. And yes, you can imagine this would be an incredibly easy kill. Roger just one chaos both of them. And as you might uh, suspect, this stage will also be similarly easy. We still have the ore boost from Law. We have one Roger special left, so we can get the attack boost too. Roger stops the ore boost from being removed. So yeah, just easy kill here. Okay, so we only have one team left and it's Int. It's my personal favorite team of these. Actually, I like it a lot. It's very cool. It's make great. It makes great use of Halloween Mihawk super type, as you will see. Uh, my first idea, of course, when doing Int was to use V for Law, since obviously, yeah, super fast, all and that. But yeah, I don't feel like he's as fast as Kaido. Like it depends on the content, but for Whitebeard at least. 
He wasn't as fast as I was expecting him to be. So I went another direction and I ended up settling for Halloween Mihawk and this team is very clean, I must say. Uh, it does need Limerick Expanded Baccarat, but she's also worth, like, Baccarat is stupid good. Just do Baccarat, uh, Limerick Expansion, absolutely worth. But yeah, we swap, now i Robin, first stage. As for last time, this lets us guarantee matching orbs later in the run, whenever we want. And yeah, we, you, you don't really need that many matching orbs since Bakvara is guaranteed one matching orb. Then we have Tesoro support, gets chain locks, we'll be doing a lot of damage anyway. As you see, this is hardly close damage. And yeah, we're going to use the first Mihawk super type now. Uh, we start by targeting the Psy unit here. And we want to kill the two, two of the mobs with the first... 5 units, and then if you don't know Halloween Mihawk super type, if there's no normal attacks only, he does crazy damage. And yeah, for this stage, we're going to use one of my favorite units. It's, Ko it's Kolo Kisaru, he's an amazing unit. He makes Baccarat ready for stage 6, also gives an ore boost with, with the Kisuna Akino support, he gives a chain lock, then we add one of the Mihawk specials, and yeah, we'll be doing crazy damage. And yeah, Halloween Mihawk, same thing as with Ch uh, with uh, Roger. We use him stage 4, then we have stage 4 and 5 attack boost, and then same thing stage 6, stage 6 and 7 attack boost. But yeah, we just use uh, Jinbei here and Mihawk super type. And yeah, as you see, Mihawk super type alone does a ton of damage. Remember to attack with Baccarat too, since Baccarat is going to get a matching orbs this stage from her special. But yes, yeah, you might have guessed, we're going to use Baccarat here, we are going to use Mihawk here. And the most scary thing about this stage is missing a perfect, because if you miss a perfect, you are going to kill Marco and Wista without hitting three perfects, so be careful here. And yeah, I think you can guess how the last stage is going to look here. We have Nami Robin left. That's an ore boost. We are getting an attack boost from Mihawk. So yeah, we're going to swap Nami Robin. We get a full board of guaranteed matching orbs. And we then we use their specials. And we get an ore boost. So yeah, I must say I am super happy with this team. It is really, really good. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to do one with Anel. In like a week maybe, I need a little bit of break after this. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.